three-phase transformer. This three-phase transformer has primary winding, secondary winding and the tertiary winding. The primary winding is connected in a star, the secondary winding is connected in a star and the tertiary winding is connected in delta. The rated voltage of the primary winding is 6600 volt. The rated voltage of the secondary winding is 400 volt and the rated voltage of the tertiary winding is 110 volt. According to this question, this three phase transformer has a magnetizing current of 5.5 ampere and balanced three phase loads of 1000 kVA at 0.8 power factor lagging on secondary and 200 kVA 0.5 leading power factor load on tertiary. We have to find the primary current and the power factor neglecting the losses. Let me draw the diagram to understand this question completely. So this is the diagram. According to this diagram or according to this question, according to this question, there is a three phase transformer and this three phase transformer has three windings the primary winding, secondary winding and the tertiary winding. The primary winding is connected in a star, the secondary winding is connected in star and the tertiary winding is connected in delta. The rated voltage of the primary winding is 6600 volt, the rated voltage of the secondary winding is 400 volt and the rated voltage of the tertiary winding is 110 volt. The magnetizing current is 5.5 ampere and there is a 1000 kVA load on the secondary winding. This is the secondary winding and here is the load of 1000 kVA. And also it is written in this question that a 200 kVA load is on tertiary winding. So this is the tertiary winding and here is the 200 kVA load. And we have to find out the primary current and the power factor. This is the current and the we have to find out the input power factor. To solve this question quickly, we will use the technique of complex power balance. What is the meaning of complex power balance? We will use the technique of complex power balance here. According to the complex power balance, the total complex power drawn The total complex power drawn equals to complex power input. What is the meaning of total complex power drawn? The complex power drawn by the transformer to magnetize the core. This is represented by S0. S2 is the complex power demanded by the load which is connected on the secondary and S3 is the complex power demanded by the load which is connected at the tertiary winding. <coughs> the meaning of S0 is the meaning of S0 is the complex power needed by the transformer to magnetize its core. The meaning of S2 is the complex power needed by the load which is connected on the secondary. S3 meaning is the complex power needed by the load which is connected on the tertiary winding. So this is the total complex power drawn. This total complex power drawn equals to total complex power input the or the complex power input the power is fed at this terminal the complex power input 
is written in this way as input this complex power input is equal to the complex power drawn by the transformer to magnetize the core plus the complex power drawn by the load which is connected on secondary and the complex power drawn by the load which is connected on the tertiary winding so this is the equation representing the complex power balance if we are able to calculate the value of s0 s2 and s3 we can find out the value of the complex power fed at the primary winding so let me calculate the value of s0 s0 is the complex power drawn by the transformer to magnetize the core which will be equal to root 3 vi angle as you know that the magnetizing current is always lagging in nature and the magnetizing current of the transformer always lags by an angle 90 degree because of the lagging nature of the magnetizing current i am going to write plus sign here if you calculate it this is root 3 into the voltage because the magnetizing power will be drawn from the input terminal the magnetizing power will be drawn from the input terminal so we will take 6600 volt and the current the magnetizing current the magnetizing current as given in the question is 5.5 ampere therefore i will write this current as 5.5 ampere and the angle is 90 and the unit will be volt ampere if you divide this value by 1000 this will be in kva after the calculation you will get this value 62.873 angle 90 kva this is the value of s not so we have got the value of the complex power needed by the transformer to magnetize the core it is also given in this question that there is a load of 1000 kva connected on the secondary which is lagging by a power factor of 0.8 so the complex power drawn by the load which is connected on the secondary can be written in this way the magnitude of the complex power angle cos inverse 0.8 because of the lagging nature of the power factor we will use plus sign here and the unit will be kva to write the value of s3 s3 is the complex power demanded by the load which is connected on the tertiary winding the load of 200 kva is connected on the tertiary winding so the complex power magnitude will be 200 angle this 200 kva load is leading in nature uh, and it is leading by 0.5 so i will write cos inverse 0.5 and because of the leading nature of the power factor i will write negative sign and s s not value i have calculated here so let me write it again here s not equals to 62.873 angle 90 degree kva this is okay 
So the complex power drawn is S0 plus S2 plus S3. This complex power, this total complex power drawn is equal to total complex power fed at the input terminal. The total complex power fed at the input terminal is S input. This is the complex power input and this is the total complex power drawn. This is the meaning of complex power balance. If you are using the calculator Casio 991 ES, you can easily do the sum of these values and I recommend that use this calculator. Put all the values directly in the calculator and after the addition of all these three values you will get as input as 1024.586 angle 28.55 degree and the unit will be kva this is the complex power fed at the input terminal okay in this question we have to find out the primary current and the power factor the input power factor to calculate the input power factor to calculate the input power factor uh, we will use this formula cos phi cos phi equals to cos 28.55 and this value will be point 8784 and this power factor will be lagging in nature why it is lagging because the angle is positive this angle is positive so the power factor will be lagging in nature to get the input current we will this is I input will be equal to S input divided by root 3 into V input S input is this 1024.586 kVA if you convert the kVA uh, into volt ampere uh, you should multiply this value with 100 oh, sorry uh, sorry you should multiply this value with 1000 1024.586 into 1000 this will be volt ampere let me repeat it again if you want the volt ampere value you should multiply this value with 1000 so I have multiplied 1000 with this value to get the volt ampere this is input volt ampere divided by root 3 into the input voltage the input voltage is 6600 volt so write 6600 and you will get the input current as I input. In this way we have got the solution. The value of the power factor is 0.8784 lagging and the value of the current and the value of the primary current is 89.628 ampere. So in this way we have solved this problem the technique to solve the problem is the use of complex power balance by using the complex power balance I have solved this problem and I have got the value of the primary current equals to 89.628 ampere and the value of the input power factor equals to 0.8784 lagging.